Thank you very much, Deputy Minister, for those words. I'd like to point out, though, that my dear wife has already pointed out that I've picked up a couple of wine stains on my shirt, and no amount of statistical analysis is going to get me on the, off the hook for that. Um, you've traced some of the cutting-edge work that has been done in our country, the cradle of humanity, the history of mankind, and the history of the universe itself, and I might mention that we had a most uh, stimulating plenary uh, lecture this afternoon on that by Dr. Amanda Veltman. And um, wherever cutting-edge research is being done, mathematics is not far behind. We are very mindful of the very low uh, figures uh, for graduates, for learners coming out of high school in mathematics, there are very, very many challenges there. Recently, NMMU was awarded the first grant chair in mathematics education, and that position has been awarded to Professor Werner Ulufir, um, who was the former head of the Department of Mathematics and Applied Mathematics. He's also the director of the Governor Mbeki Mathematics uh, Development Unit, which had very small beginnings right back in 2000, when, um, when he and Mr. Flip Portgetter, who was then also a member of our department, came along and said, they took this quote by UMGAV, and they said, let's take our prize winners, and we award prizes every year for the best uh, students uh, in applied mathematics and mathematics at the third year level. Let's take them to Umgav's house, which were in Summerstrand, and um, ask him to award the prizes, and we did this. And from there, that particular uh, initiative has gone from strength to strength. Um, we are trying to create a cutting edge. Um, we have a number of research trusts uh, recognized by our faculty in mathematics. Um, you have mentioned what is the use of this and so on. Well, I come from a field, as do a number of my colleagues in the Department of Mathematics and Applied Mathematics called Abstract Algebra, which was for a very long time held to be a fairly useless piece of mathematics. In the days of the internet, with all the billions of bits that get sent along transmission lines, there was a need for codes which will correct the errors. Our abstract algebra came to the rescue. The security, when you draw money from a, an order teller or when you transmit uh, information through email and so on, comes from the theory of cryptology. And the basis of cryptology is abstract algebra. It is very pleasing at this conference, I must say, to see the large number of graduate students, which you pointed out, and I think you have issued a very, very uh, useful challenge to them, an important challenge. You graduate students are the torchbearers. You will take mathematics forward. You are the people who will challenge the legacies of the past. A winning nation, as Umgav said, is a nation in which mathematics education is at a high level. And if we look at countries like Japan and Germany and so on, we see high levels of mathematics education and that's part of being a, a winning nation. Um, I'd like to thank everybody, uh, all our speakers. I'd like to thank you uh, for your attendance, for your support of this Congress. Um, please enjoy the rest of the evening. Um, the, um, there are wood, uh, the, the, Available, uh, drinks available, I think, and um, the buses, I'm told, Mahil, uh, am I wrong, they are departing at, half, did you say 9.30? Mahil, is he here? Please be in time for the bus if you're going. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Be mindful, though, that the legal alcohol limit in South Africa is 0 0.05, and they do operate roadblocks. My colleagues on the local um, organizing committee um, we'd like to meet at 7.30 tomorrow morning. A headache will not be considered an excuse. So thank you all for your attendance and have a pleasant evening.